In a terminal with so much space, there's no shortage of room for retail therapy. But the size of this building posed another problem for the airport engineers. Remember those typhoons? These severe tropical storms have their own internationally recognized scale of destruction. At the top of the scale, category five, wind speeds can escalate to 155 miles an hour. These typhoons wreak havoc in Hong Kong, sending everyone running for cover. Hurricane force winds also cause problems for big buildings with high, flat sides. Uh, exactly like this one, then. To protect Hong Kong's new airport from destruction, engineers looked to another type of transport and found the answer in a 1930s racing car. Engineers knew the solution had to be strong enough to keep the building together, but just how strong did it have to be? Thinking about the kinds of pressures these buildings have to stand up to, and we could look at the numbers all day long, but how do they actually feel what happens? Well, to find out about that, I've come to the one place where I can be in control of the weather. A wind tunnel. A really, really big wind tunnel. I've asked engineer David Wayne to let me play in his expensive wind tunnel. Dave, so what's the fastest wind this tunnel can generate? 130 kph, 80 mile per hour. So that's about the hurricane strength, isn't it? It is, yes. And you're prepared to fire it up and let me stand there. I just want to feel what that feels like. Yeah, if you're quite happy to do that, then yes. Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> will, will, it, will it blow me over at that speed? It is quite likely to, yes. Right. If you're not bracing yourself, if you're not expecting it, then yes, it will knock you over. Right. Will it then blow me to the other end of the wind tunnel where I'll come out like chips? No, hopefully okay. not. Good. Once once you're on the floor, then that's it. You right. shouldn't go any further. OK, OK, well, this is, this is just about feeling, feeling that pressure that these buildings have to put out with, so in the name of science, switch it on. I'll stand over here. <laughs> All I want to do is just get a real physical feeling of the kind of forces in a typhoon. I mean, how windy is a typhoon? 130 kilometres, 80 miles an hour. I think it's breezy, but how windy is it, really? And why have they put a mattress strapped to the floor immediately behind me? OK, that's breezy. David signals the wind speed's already up to 25 miles an hour. Forty miles an hour. That's gale force strength. This is a forty mile an hour wind. Just feeling the pressure. I mean, I'm feeling that on me now. That's as a bloke, not a big bloke at that. If I was a whole building, imagine the pressures on me just at this speed. David cranks it up to sixty-five miles an hour. Probably as well that I don't wear a wig. It's not long before we're hitting 70 miles an hour. <laughs> 81 miles an hour, this wind tunnel's top speed. This is equivalent to a Category 1 typhoon. Just imagine a Category 5, almost double this speed. Well, I think I made my point. Yeah. Well, sometimes numbers, theories aren't enough. And you just got to experience something physically for yourself. And all I learnt there was wind, moving air can be very, very powerful stuff, even when you're just a small bloke. If I was the side of a huge building, the pressures would be incredible. <laughs>